Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well. So welcome back to my channel. This is again going to be a, a PR unboxing kind of video. So I have received quite a lot of PR in the past month, and here are a few boxes here because I couldn't stack them up. Uh, so I thought I'll do a collective unboxing. There are a lot of new launches. There are a lot of new brands uh, that have launched their products, and I'm pretty excited to try them out. But before I could start using them, I really wanted to show them to you in this video. So yeah, let's start the video. So first of all, I'm going to unbox two products from a new brand called Tipsy Beauty. So they have sent me two separate boxes. So this is their uh, newest collection, and then here are few lipsticks. Yeah. So this is their PR box, and it is a very beautiful. It's like a chest, small chest, and uh, this is their new collection. When you open it, it has three products. One is highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer. And you will be blown away uh, with the packaging. The packaging is so pretty. So let's open the Chaching highlighter. So this is the packaging. Can you look at it? It's very pretty. It actually looks very interesting and expensive. And once you slide the card, like this is a credit card, not a credit card exactly, but this is like your credit card. And here is the highlighter. And it is so pretty. I've already swatched it once. It is like your blinding highlighter, and this highlighter is priced at rupees triple nine. Next, we have the bronzer, same packaging. Here is the bronzer. So they have uh, a matte and a shimmery formula in the same pan. I am not sure if this shade is going to show up on me because the shade looks pretty light in the pan. But let's swatch it. So yeah, it is very light for me. It will not show up. But if you are fairer than me, then give this a try. Again, the price is triple nine. Lastly, we have the blush, and the blush comes in three different shades. Like they have a gradient of three different shades in here, and I really like the idea because you can use any one or mix them together and create your own fun color. So this. Collection looks really interesting. I'm going to link everything in the description box. If you're interested in picking up any of the products that I've shown you from Tipsy, you can just check the link. Next, they've sent me their lipsticks. So I think their lipsticks come in this kind of a duo pack. So in one pack, you are going to get two shades. So this is Tipsy Beauty Happy Hour Two for One Lippies, and this is priced at rupees eight forty nine. So in eight forty nine, you are getting two different shades. Uh, you are getting 1.5 grams each. Very cute, tiny. You can just throw them in your purse and use them on the go. So here is the first shade. So this shade is a red, red, and it's a red color, of course. And then we have a shade called spice, which looks like a maroonish color. One is honey, which is a neutral color, and the other is caramel. So I think they have uh, made the duos keeping the color hue in mind. So in the previous one, the Uh, the one I showed you had both uh, tones of red, like red and maroon, and this one has both neutral shades. So they must have named these something. So yeah, the full name is Honey Boo and Caramel Kiss. Next, I have uh, some new launches from Simply Num. So Simply Num is Namrata Soni's brand, and they very kindly sent me the newest launch, which is their blushes. And I really love the packaging. Look at the packaging of. Uh, The blush, even the outer packaging looks so beautiful. It looks so glamorous, and the packaging, the actual packaging of the product is also very, very pretty and very different. This is how the blush comes in. Like this is this is the packaging, and once you open it, you have the blush here. This is kind of a frosted plastic case. A uh, very feels very sturdy and nice, and you have a cream blush here. So the shade I've just showed you is rosy pink. Uh, sorry, the shade is Partner in Crime. It is a rosy pink color. Here is the swatch, and I can't wait to use these in my makeup looks. The second shade I have here is We Go Way Back. This is the Norman Brown color. This is the color. Very pretty, very pretty for every day. I cannot wait to try these. These are priced at rupees thirteen ninety nine. Quite expensive. You can find Simply Num products. At Sephora. Lastly, they have sent me a velvet microfiber makeup sponge. I have tried microfiber makeup sponge in the past, and I honestly do not enjoy using them. But I'll give this a shot in one of my uh, testing new makeup videos, and we'll see together whether this performs uh, well or not. I'm not actually a fan of uh, these kind of sponges, 
but we will see how this works let's see uh, ideally you do not have to uh, wet these the way you have to wet the other makeup sponges because it works better this way and this is a sephora haul so i will show it to you in the end so let's keep on opening the pr packages now this package is from verified verified if you do not know is anam chashma wala brand she is an influencer and she recently launched new blushes and uh, highlighters in the collection and very kindly sent across two from both so first i'm going to open the blushes uh, the first one is camellia rose but first let's just admire the packaging the packaging is very pretty it's like this shiny black case and when you open it you have a very nice mirror and nice pan of uh, blush here the color is very pretty it's right up my alley this is kind of a dusty pink color it would look really pretty i'll just quickly swatch it if you want me to do a shot on both the shades of namrata sony and uh, verified just let me know i will do that Uh, this shade is very very pretty. These blushes are, I think, priced at rupees seven ninety nine, and you are getting a lot of product. You are getting nine grams of product, which is really good. And the next shade is Ibis Rose or Ibis Rose. Again, the packaging is similar, and when you open it, you have the shade here. This looks more like a mauve, a very nice mauve, and it will look. I don't know how is it going to look on me. but uh, i think it should look good because anam's complexion is more or less similar to mine and it looks quite good on her so i'm sure it's going to look good on me as well i quickly swatch it for you yeah here is ibis rose it looks very mauve not the kind of shade i like to use at this point of time i really like uh, the shade i swatched earlier what was the name camellia rose is my kind of color so We'll use it in one of the videos and see how the color actually looks on the cheeks. Next, I have two uh, highlighters. So I think there are there are four shades in blushes and three in highlighter. If I'm not wrong, or there are five blushes and three highlighters. Um, I'll cross check and mention it in the description box. In any case, I'm going to link all the products in the description box. If you are interested in buying any of these products, you can just check the link. Next, the highlighter is in the shade. Uh, what is the shade? Morganite, and it is priced at rupees eight ninety nine. So morganite looks very pretty. It is like a pink tone highlighter. So if you are just wearing blush, you can uh, lightly dust it on your cheeks, and it will give you that beautiful uh, metallic glowing look. And the highlighter feels very nice. I don't have the lens to swatch. So this is how morganite looks on my arm. I'm not sure if camera is picking up the color or not, but It looks, it looks kind of frosty on my arm, but the color has gold and pink both. So I'm very curious to see how is it going to look on my cheeks. Next, I have shade Citrin, which is a very pretty champagne gold color, very very pretty. And I'll quickly swatch it for you. Yes, this is the color. It almost feels very creamy. Uh, Almost feels like cream. I don't have blush brushes at the moment around me, so I'm going to use my finger. But it is looking very nice, even when you use it with your fingers. Uh, but I will definitely use them in my future videos, and we will see together how the uh, the blushes and the highlighter look. Next, I have few products from Ras. Uh, they have sent me their tinted liquid lip balm. I already have one shade from this uh, from them. and i really like it and i would love to do a swatch video of all the five shades that i own i am abundant so they have written affirmations on the boxes like they have named their shades as affirmations and i really like it so this is so pretty it is almost like a pinky berry color it is very very pretty and you know you can use these on your lips as well as on your cheeks and these are uh, made with from ayurvedic uh, formulation so I'm sure these are going to feel very luxe, very, uh, very comfortable on the lips. So this is the first color. Then we have berry red. Then there is a shade called I Am Beautiful, which is a nude pink lip color. And these lip glosses are kind of oily, so there is an oily residue on the cap. And the last one is I Am Serene. I hope that's the name of the shade. And it's a nude brown, and you can see it's a. If you want me to swatch these, uh, just let me know in the comments. I would definitely do a short, like YouTube short, swatching all the five shades that I have. 
then they have also sent me their uh, revival kumkumadi night elixir and i have tried their facial oils in the past and i really really like them so this is the oil the bottle looks very very luxurious very pretty right now i cannot use oil on my face because it is extremely humid here in delhi but i will definitely use this uh, during colder month or when the weather becomes dry i definitely would love to start using this mist this is their rose nectar face mist and i am right now using my uh, wish care rose mist i still have a lot left so i will use that and then start using this one lastly i have their hydrating lip mask and lip scrub i cannot wait to use these so the hydrating uh, lip mask has rose hip aloe and cocoa butter and this one the scrub has grapefruit and orange i'll just quickly show you the packaging okay the packaging is big but the pot is quite small so this is the scrub this is the lip mask next i have some pr from mac so mac has sent me few of their lipsticks um and just for one of the promotions on instagram so they have sent me shade called all fired up i'm doing a series on instagram i'm not sure if you guys know i'm swatching lipstick every day like for 365 days i swatch one shade and i will definitely use them in those swatches so the first one is all fired up which is like a uh, pinky red it's from their retro matte finish and this is a one of the most like it's not pinky matte this is kind of magenta kind of color this is one of their most famous shades like one of their best selling colors then i have meher meher is like very light for me but i can make it work with a lip liner quite light it's like a pinky mauve velvet teddy velvet teddy is again very light for me i've seen a lot of people loving this color and this color is very pretty i must say this is velvet teddy but i'm not sure how pretty is it going to look on my lips it might look very light but we'll see how how light then i have a shade called taupe okay it's not taupe is like a very famous color like a nude color from mac this is taupe this is like a brown and i swatch it next to velvet teddy so we will see how both the shades are the taupe is very brown and velvet teddy has a hint of pink so i think This is going to be a really good everyday color. Next, I have Diva. I already think I think I already have or had Diva. It was one of the most popular shades back in the day. It's a very dark burgundy wine color, and I had this color. Like this is a burgundy color, not wine color, and it was one of the most popular shades back in the day. When back when Mac was actually very popular. I used to buy so many MAC lipsticks back then. Then I have a powder kiss lipstick called Rhythm and Roses. This shade kind of, I thought this would look nice on me, but it looks a bit off for some reason. I don't know why. The color is very pretty, it's like a terracotta color, but it enhances the darkness around my mouth if I wear it without makeup. So if I wear it, I'll have to do makeup. That's the catch. Then they have sent me. Uh, an eye shadow called What Cloud. This is a single eye shadow, and I think this is from the powder cake formula. This is the color. I think this can be a really everyday eye shadow. They have sent me a small stroke green and a small fix plus, which I'm going to throw in the giveaway pile because I already have a full size of stroke green, and I already have way too many fix plus uh, lying around. So. I think I'm going to keep them for the away. Now let's see what we have here. I have few products from Dot and Key. First we have the 20% vitamin C face serum. This is their L ascorbic acid serum. I am I have already used it. It's a really good product, but the challenge is that it kind of oxidizes very quickly. So before your month is over, this is going to turn yellow. And no matter where you keep it, I used to keep it in my drawer. In fact, the bottle inside is pretty opaque, thick glass bottle, but still it oxidizes because it's in a dropper form they could have done a pump so that the contact with oxygen is reduced but whatever i mean it's the brand's choice but uh, the product is very good it has ceruleic acid as well so if you are looking for a good l ascorbic acid this is nice and i've already used it so i'm definitely going to use it again once i'm done with my doctor shades i have i think a very little of it left i think i will be able to use it up in this month <laughs> not this month this week Very less product is left. Let me know if you guys want to see what's in my skincare stash, which I keep here. 
I have a lot of products, but I have kind of minimized my skincare routine these days because it is very very humid here. But even then, if you would like to see what I am using in like a day-to-day -day basis, just let me know. Next one, I have their new sunscreen. I have been hearing a lot about this sunscreen. This is a Sika Calming Niacinamide Sunscreen. This is SPF 50. I will use it and let you guys know. I have been using a lot of new sunscreen and I have been loving them. Let me know if you want me to do a top 5 or top 6 sunscreen. I am in fact planning to do that video very very soon. So you might see it sometime next week or next to next week. So I will use it and right, right now I am really loving the uh, the ceramide and vitamin C sunscreen from Dr. Shed. This is very 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 good, very very good product. And I'm really loving it. I use I use this one whenever I go out. Next, I have the Dot and Key Vitamin C Moisturizer. This is a gel-based moisturizer, and I have been hearing a lot about this moisturizer. A few of my blogger friends have already repurchased it a couple of times, so I am assuming that this is a really good product. I will definitely start using it once I'm done with the product I'm using right now, which again is going to take me a month at least. Next, I have a box here with liquid lipsticks from Love Earth. So Love Earth has launched their liquid lipsticks and there are not one or two but nine shades of liquid lipsticks here. And I am quite excited. So I'll show you one of the shades. So these are priced at Rs. 897. And I will quickly show you how the packaging looks like. Packaging is pretty nice and very, very pretty. See, packaging is nice. So the color I have picked is, what shade is it? It is Peach Mojito. I think this is going to be a light color, but I'll swatch it anyway. Yes, it is a light shade. Okay. This is Peach Moito. I am again going to do a swatch video on these lipsticks. Let me know if you want me to do a short on these videos or a full-fledged review. Uh, just let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I will end up doing short because obviously they are easier to do. I don't really have to talk or ramble for a long time. So. I have all the nine shades and I will swatch them in an upcoming video very very soon. Next I have a product from one of my fellow YouTubers Kiran Raj Singh. If you know her, her channel same is Indian Mom and Beauty. So she has launched two new products. One is uh, Multani Mitti. This is, okay, her brand name is Olawa Natural. So she has launched a Multani Mitti and Aloe Vera Gel. So the Aloe Vera Gel is 100% pure and it has Cucumber, Vitamin E and Vitamin C, it doesn't contain parabens, salicylate and silicon and I am um, pretty excited to try this also. So the aloe vera gel is for $3.99 and the Multani Mitti is for the piece $3.99 again and you are getting a huge tub, like this tub is huge. So I, I remember I used to apply Multani Mitti in my hair during summers and it used to feel so good but it kind of made my hair dry, it used to make my hair dry back then, I am not sure. Uh, but I would love to try it on my face because it is anti-tanning, it controls acne, it gives instant glow. So we'll, we'll definitely mix these and apply. Thank you so much Kiran for sending these across. I'm going to link all the products in the description box, not forget to check them out. Also I think with the mask you get a brush applicator free. And these kinds of applicators are really really good because you they have a, like a, a silicone spatula and which spreads the product really easily so yeah i cannot wait to try these next i have product from a new brand called ornair owner reached out to me on instagram and she wanted me to you know, try the products out so i said why not and in any case i'm doing the 365 days of lipstick so i thought you know i can actually add variety to the brand like the shades i'm swatching and i really like the packaging uh, look at the packaging it's so pretty these are so pretty. There are three shades and these are made in India. And these are priced at $3.99 each, quite affordable. Stuck with you, like the range name is, and the shade is number five. It's like a very pretty rosy magenta pink. Here I have washed the color. Then we have number six, which looks like a deep red. And lastly, I have shade number. Eight, which is a very pretty purple like a plum color very pretty so the shades are very different and I am quite excited to try them out so I think the owner's name is Diksha and the brand name is Ornare O-R-N-A-R-E in any case I am going to link it in the description the last box is not a PR box it actually is uh, my hair supplement 
and I am okay. I've kept it there. I am already done with the first box. This is from a brand called Sulo, and I bought two boxes. I cannot open it right now because it has too many tapes. Uh, I quickly show you the box I have I have opened. So this is the hair supplement, and uh, this is not a paid insertion, paid partnership. I used it like tried it before as well. I took a break and then I'm back to it. And as you can see, I have just three gummies left. So these are hair gummies. I'm not sure how effective these are, but these are easy to take. And um, I was facing hair fall. I thought I'll start using something like I'll start taking something. I have already started taking my D3. Uh, and this one, so I think it will help me in some way. So I'm already done with one one jar, and I will open the next jar. It comes in a huge box, and you get a wooden comb free with each box. And I really like it. It hasn't caused me any kind of like nausea or any irritation, like bowel irritation or digestion issues. Nothing. Everything is fine, so I'm pretty happy, and I will continue taking these for at least six months uh, to see results. So. Yeah, and uh, apart from this, I only have a tiny Sephora haul. I went to Sephora after a really long time, and I was looking for lipsticks again. You will think, how many lipsticks do you need, Shalini? But uh, I am a blogger. I have to come up with interesting content, otherwise you guys are going to unsubscribe. So I have picked four lipsticks from Sephora, liquid lipsticks. These are very, very good. Very good. Very comfortable on the lips, very long lasting, and these four shades are very very pretty. I'm not going to swatch them today, but I'm definitely going to do a short uh, with all the four shades so that you guys uh, can buy them. I have tried to pick different colors like a very dark color, a purple color, then there is a rust terracotta color and this color. So all the colors are very pretty. I think these are priced at rupees. I'm sorry, the price is not mentioned here. I don't know why, but I paid. Okay, let me see if I have the bill. I have the bill here. So one okay. So the lipstick is priced at rupees one thousand thirty three one zero double three, and I've also picked this this lipstick from. So these are from the liquid lipsticks. They call it liquid lip stain, and this is from their um, glossy finish. And I really like the color. This definitely reminded me of a Chanel lipstick I used to own long, long time ago. And this is the color. Where is the color? I swatched it here. Why I swatched it here? I cannot even show it. Yeah, this is the color. It's like a dark berry, and it's a glossy finish. It looks so pretty. The shade is so comfortable. And look at the packaging. It definitely reminded me of Fenty Beauty lipstick. So I'm not sure if this came first or the Fenty came first. But this looks really nice, and it was priced at rupees. Okay, all the shades are priced at rupees like thousand thirty-three each. So I paid six thousand for all the six, like all the five lipsticks I picked. So this was all, and like the previous video, I'm going to uh, announce a small giveaway. So here are all the products that you are two of you are going to get. So here are some skincare goodies from Doctor Shed. Then a lot of makeup products like lipsticks from Mars and foundation from Blue Heaven and what else we have a moisturizer from Lover. Then there are color pop goodies. So I'm going to distribute or divide it equally between the two winners and send them to you. So all you have to do is be a subscriber, like this video and comment below. Whatever, like if you like the product, just let me know. If you want me to swatch or review a particular product, just let them let me know in the comments and. I will announce some, announce two winners next week under the same video, uh, like next week, same day, like on what whatever day this goes up the next week. I'll announce the winners in under the same video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful. If you like this video, like this kind of videos, so just uh, give this video a big thumbs up so that I know you like this kind of content. I'm experimenting with my content. And I'm trying to be more fun. <laughs> so yeah, your comments and likes would mean a lot. So I'll see you very very soon in my next video. Till then, take care and bye.